And as Kim indicated before, the move to where we are today started with Stormwater Planning Guidebook back in 2002. And that guidebook advanced the premise that land development and watershed protection can be sustainable, or can be compatible, I'm sorry. Um, and that, you know, back then that was kind of, you know, a new way of thinking. It wasn't common thinking because development um, typically impacted the, the, the watershed. And we're, we're recognizing now that we can still develop and protect the watershed. Um, and the key is to adopt this water-centric way of thinking. And the, somebody asked a question about water-centric, and it's not centralizing water uh, activities, it's, it's centering on water as a focus of your thinking and doing. Uh, and that's kind of the key there. And, and CAVI is involved in promoting that way of thinking and doing. So that's one of our key activities. But the guidebook <coughs> is more than just a how-to guidebook for developing urban watershed management plans. Um, it's really the, the whole story of convening for action for water sustainability on Vancouver Island. <clears throat> and, you know, it talks, it, it, it's the story of partnerships and discussions and collaboration among the various people that have been involved with this initiative uh, of, of creating an, um, a, a regional team approach uh, to work together with local and senior governments and uh, stewardship groups and local interest groups and other people who um, support uh, economic development in the various regions and have a vision for water sustainability. It's a call to action to use the tools and the knowledge that we have to do things differently than we've done them before, to do them better than we've done them before. <coughs> we have the tools, we have the knowledge to improve the way we develop the land to protect the watershed and now it's really time to take that knowledge and apply it. Move from awareness to action. So we know water is, is, of course, very critical to our society. Um, without it, we can't really do too much, including uh, moving forward with economic development and economic diversity. Um, but people think, a lot of people think, you know, Vancouver Island, the wet coast, we've got lots of water, why, why, are we even wor why do we have to worry about this stuff? Because it's really not a concern. But you know what's happening, like as I think it was Eric's slide showing that Canadians or well, British Columbians um, are among the, the greatest water consumer, consumers on the planet. You know, we use basically more water than any other uh, entity on, on, the, on Earth. Um, you know, we overwater our lawns. That's a, that's a big factor for us as lawns. We overwater our driveways and our sidewalks and our patios while we're watering our lawns. And we waste a lot of water. We drain our wetlands for development. Um, and we, we clear land and increase the runoff from that land to surface streams. Interesting little sidebar note for your information is that typically when, when, land, when, when land is developed and you create impermeable surfaces by doing that, over and above background that exceed about 10% of background. So, you know, you're putting roofs and driveways and sidewalks and patios and creating impermeable surfaces. When that reaches in excess of 10% over background impermeable sur surfaces, you will start to see, as a result of runoff from those surfaces, getting into surface streams, degradation of the environment. Those streams will begin to de degrade at that 10% level. So that's, that's quite a surprising number to me. Um, so it's something to really think about in terms of how we have built our homes and developed our land and how, you know, we just continue to do it that way. We're still doing it that way. Um, and there's, there's more than a couple of developments on Vancouver Island. Uh, Kim was mentioning some that have stalled or have collapsed. Some of those are partly due to, or in some cases wholly due to, uh, lack of confirmation on water availability. Um, we are seeing in our area and in other areas on the island declining groundwater levels. We're seeing wells seasonally dry up. So, you know, it's not something we're just worried about or thinking about. It's happening. And we're, we're seeing it starting to happen already. Um, so basically what I think what we're trying to say is as we see this increased development occurring, 
if our water use and land development patterns don't change as we face the uh, the unknowns, I guess, of, of well, and the knowns. If we face the unknowns and the knowns of climate change without really adapting or doing something about it, we are going to run into trouble. We already are identifying that there are signs of trouble in some areas of Vancouver Island when it comes to water and water sustainability. So, what we what we'd like to suggest is that uh, Bahia, Bahia. I don't know why we all have so much trouble with that. I mean, you're, just me. <laughs> you know, we'd like, we like you to support our call for action, or by you to support our call for action. We're, we're actually interested in inviting um, Bahia to join our CABI leadership team. We, we have a leadership team that establishes our functions and, and controls some of the things we do. Um, and we'd like to welcome a member of Bahia to the leadership team at some point, so we'll be discussing that further. In the meantime, uh, I really think that for some of you that are interested and want to pursue it, do take a look at this document. Uh, it's on our web it's on the Water Bucket website. Um, it's a pretty Please, easy... Pre waterbucket.ca. Waterbucket.ca. Thank you. It's a pretty easy read, uh, very easy to read, and there's lots of pictures and stuff in there, so it makes stories. it easier. Stories, there's stories. And you can get through it in, a, in an evening over, a, you know, just get a feeling for it at least, you can't really analyze it, but in an evening over a couple of cups of coffee, you can, or a couple of glasses of wine, you, you can get through this thing. After the wine, <laughs> after the wine, it won't be so clear. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, water would be. Anyway, do take a look at it. Sorry, it's called Beyond the Guidebook. We don't have a slide for it. Beyond the Guidebook. Well, if you go onto the waterbucket.ca website and, and publication, fast thing to do: go to Google and put in Water Bucket oh, there Plus. You go. Water Bucket Plus Beyond the Guidebook 2010. Bang, it will pop up. Yeah, there you go. Beyond the Guidebook 2010. That'll get you there. Thank you very much. That's all I got to say. Thank you.